All right, um, what we're gonna go over now are primary and secondary sets. Primary sets look like this. Um, anytime you have a, a tip, anytime you have a tubing in a bag that has any kind of lock on it, be it the this set with this kind of lock, the little blue one, or the roller clamps, the clamps are gonna be in the open position when you open up a, a set of tubing. Always, unless there's manufacturer defect. And the reason for that is because these things sometimes sit in bags for a year. Okay, so if you have this malleable tubing that is in a locked position, what's gonna happen over time? It's gonna stay like that and it's not gonna work. So, whenever you open your tubing, roll your roller clamp to a locked position. Otherwise, once you spike your bag, you're gonna have a mess. Okay, so don't forget to do that. I'm gonna put that up there for a second. Just keep it up in the way. You have your spike that is covered, and that's your end that's gonna to connect to your patient. Very simple. This is gonna be my primary bag. I'm running normal saline. My order's reading normal saline at 50 milliliters an hour. Um, you know, a lot of patients are paid for maintenance. I do maintenance, okay? So we're not to worry about programming the pump at the moment. I'm just gonna open my bag. Take off the tip. And I don't wanna lose anybody's stuff. That cap. And when you're grabbing these, kind of grab as close to the tip as you can. Now you don't want to touch this because that's sterile currently, so you don't want to get it dirty. Get as close as you can because when you're pushing, you have to use a little bit of effort to get through the rubber diaphragm that's inside the bag. Okay. Now when I flip this up, nothing happens. It doesn't flow. How come? Clamped. Because it's clamped and there's positive pressure on it. So I'm gonna run this thing. We'll get that trash can, please. Now, even though that blue tip is on there, this thing will still run through that. It's set up to do that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flood my tube or flood my uh, reservoir. And that's enough. If you happen to overfill it, you squeeze it too much, you get to talking to your friend, you look at, oh darn. Well, the problem with this right here is it's filled. I can't see if it's dripping. That's why you don't want to do that. So how do I fix this? Well, if I run it through, all it's going to do is keep on filling and keep on going. So that's not going to work. Turn it upside down and put it back in the bag. Almost. There we go. That bada bing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and flood my tube, which is priming it. Whee! And it comes down, comes down, comes down. We get a few drops, and tubing is primed. That's it. That's all there is to priming, priming a primary tubing. That's it. Nothing big. All right. Now, but the orders read also that you're going to run at IV and SEF, one gram IV piggyback times one amp. Okay. And that comes up from the pharmacy in a secondary bag. Secondary bags are typically smaller than your primary bags. Primary bags are usually 1,000, 500, or 250. This is 100, okay? One camera gray. ANSEF, one gram and 50 milliliters of normal saline. Secondary tubing, I know it's secondary because it has a little blue hooky in it. And this one I don't have to be nice to because I didn't get this from Sudan. As soon as I bust this open, I'm going to hook up my secondary tubing. Otherwise, I'm prone to forget. Done. Now, I just opened this. It's new, so what do I have to remember to do? Close the clamp. Close the clamp, because the clamp is open. Because if I prime it, just if I spike it, what's going to happen? I'm going to have a mess. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open that up. Take off the top. And again, holding it as close as I can. Spike my bag, which doesn't run because clamp is clamp. All right. I'm going to put that higher than my primary bag. Gravity will always grab the higher bag, all right? 
Now, this has been out and this has been hanging around. So before I connect my secondary, which always which gets connected to the one closest to the primary bag, what do I have to do to this? Clean. I gotta clean it. And I'm not gonna swap on me, but we're gonna go ahead and make do with what we have. Clean, 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 clean. Okay, so I clean it with that false swap. That's all I want. Take off my pop, which I'll say in case somebody wants to use this, and then I'm going to connect it. Now, these are threaded, they're called lure lock. These are almost always what you're going to see. Threads just means you have to, they screw on. I had to explain what threads were to a student one time. If you're watching this, you know who you are. Okay. All right, now, I'm gonna hold this in one here so it doesn't jump on the floor. I don't want to get all messy. And I'm going to back prime, all right? This tube is not flooded at all, there's nothing in here. By opening this up right now, nothing is going to happen, okay? I'm going to drop this down and watch what happens. Fluid, fluid, backing up, backing up, backing up, back priming, back priming, back priming, back into the upper level, and nothing more happens. What I did was I allowed fluid from this bag to go back into this bag. Now, why, this one's higher now, why isn't fluid going back into that bag? If this one's higher, it goes into this bag, but when this one's higher, it doesn't go into this bag. How come? Does anybody know? Right there. It's a one-way valve. That is what's keeping your secondary bag from going to your primary bag, is that little one-way valve. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, I'm not gonna go through a program pump right now. Um, you would set this thing up. I would go to my patient's room. You know, I've already checked everything. Um, because I put this in a little while ago, all right, this IV in a little while ago, if I'm coming back in to set up their uh, primary and secondary bag, I bring a flush in with me, I clean, 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 undo the clamp, okay, put my flush on, flush, make sure it's still good, then I would connect, then I'd go through the process. But that's all there is to it, and you can stop the video.